Hello, I just wanted to give you a quick update from the system. It's now the beginning of March and I've been running this hydroponic system since the end of November. There are two things that I've changed. One, I've increased the size of the nutrient container. I'll show you over here. Uh, this is a 54 gallon nutrient container and I am only using about 20 gallons at a time uh, when by the time I have to fill it, by the time the nutrient level gets down to the pump which needs to be refilled, uh, it takes 20 gallons and that's about every six days with the system planted uh, the way it is. Um, the other thing that I've changed that I have to be a little bit more cautious about is making sure that I change my nutrient solution, that I do a flush. Uh, about every four, uh, four to six weeks I'm seeing if I can hold off uh, six weeks uh, because there, you can show you here on the leaves there's a brown spotting that occurs on some of these leaves. They do taste a bit bitter. You can see that. Um, but that doesn't seem, it seems to happen on this loose leaf, this oak leaf and then also the Rex, you can see here, which is one of my favorites. But the herbs are doing very well. Uh, you see this is just a couple parsley plants here. Uh, we really like the mint. Uh, the dill is very, very happy. Um, the coriander is going to, I have new uh, starters that are going to be ready to go next week since they have bolted uh, both plants. Uh, collard greens are growing beautifully. I like to put those in some fruit smoothies for breakfast. Uh, the same thing with the Swiss chard kind of gets covered down here by, by these leaves. Uh, the other issue is that you can see here this long stem on this kale plant. What happens is it grows up here and then starts to block. Like for example, this is a Toscano kale is growing up here. This is the apical meristem is up here and it's crowding out this new uh, kale that I put in here, Olympic Red. So that's one thing to think about uh, for future designs is kind of redesigning uh, the kale uh, from the lettuce. This kale tower is a little bit further out and spaced out compared with the lettuce, but uh, not enough. So this is lettuce here is uh, eight weeks. It'll be pulled tomorrow. Actually, all of these guys are about eight weeks. Uh, it would be good if I would install a fan and have it running intermittently. As you can see a little bit of tip burn here on this Rex. There's a spread neck here too that I can show you that grows very nicely uh, as a young plant, but then starts, you can see this tip burn here. It's a calcium issue. Uh, as if you look at some of the younger plants, you know, they're absolutely gorgeous color um, and nice uh, toughness of the leaf. Uh, but then once they do get older, they start with that leaf tip burn. So that's about it. Uh, the grow cycle does, if I do change the nutrient solution, the grow cycle uh, is still about eight weeks I'm finding for the lettuce before I can take it out. Uh, I do, the tops of the system are not getting as much light intensity, as many lumens as, as in the, the middle. Uh, so you can kind of see in the bottom, the plants are a little bit smaller. And the tops I've been putting in, this is uh, a bok choy, which is just absolutely delicious. Um, my wife prefers to eat them as a salad rather than the lettuce. So the last thing that I wanted to mention is that it really kind of does depend on what types of plants you put in here, how they grow, um, and if it's more of a you know, advancing vertically if like in the kale section here uh, or uh, the leaf tip burn on some of these varieties. But I still am a big fan of this uh, oak leaf. This is a green oak leaf. It's, it's really my favorite. This is a red oak leaf here. Um, and then the Rex uh, are very nice. It's a, it's a very dense, uh, tightly packed head. So that's about it for now. Happy healthy eating. Just